Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm back to a brand new Black Ops Cold Over Day here on the channel, guys. Today we are going, we're going, we're going over season four, fully in depth. I know I've made literally like three videos on this already. All right, this being obviously the third, uh, and I'm not trying to get annoying with it. Obviously, the first one was just the reveal trailer. Yesterday was just the roadmap, going over the roadmap. Today we have everything that is coming with the initial launch of season four. All right, so. Uh, we have a bunch to talk about. We uh, they literally broke down the battle pass. They give us a battle pass trailer. We'll be able to get the battle pass and store bundles via the Cold War store now, um, which is amazing. Uh, we have the patch notes here. It, it, it's freaking crazy, man. So let me just get into this one right now. We're gonna go over the patch notes first, and then we'll break down the battle pass and uh, the new store bundles that are gonna be coming soon. So, uh, so global, this is happening for everybody. 100 new battle pass tiers including the mg82 lmg and c58 assault rifle so um obviously those are going to be the two new weapons in the battle pass and obviously later on we'll get the other new weapons and then obviously the nail gun is obviously going to be included as well just not via the battle pass there's going to be five total new weapons throughout the season which is insane the ground fall uh, limited time event at launch so that's going to be on launch week so I don't know if that means it's going to be on the exact day that it launches, being tomorrow or, you know, later on down the line. But anyways, um, I'm speaking for PS4 players right now. The update did go live. Obviously, we're not in the new season yet, but you were able to update your game. Again, you're not able to install it yet, but you updated it. So later today at 9 p.m., you'll be able to install the update and obviously uh, play. And I'm assuming tonight we'll have, like, maybe the new score streak and a new map or something like that. I'm hoping at least. Um, but anyways, the 40 prestige level, so you'll now be able to get prestige 16 through 19. Obviously, we took a look at that yesterday. The new prestige shop content, again, this is going to be really cool to see. Some new prestige emblems, prestige calling cards. New weapon unlock challenges, so obviously you'll be able to unlock these new uh, weapons. Um, like the, the ones from this season, being the, P the PPSH. Uh, and the Swiss K-1, uh, and, you know, things like that. Uh, the new gifting feature like I just talked about challenge tracker hold on all right so I'm hoping that what that means is that let's say you're in a zombies game or you're in a multiplayer game and you need to look at the camos uh, on your gun I think that means you'll be able to look at that in game now which is something I've been begging for for a while now a whole bunch of people have been doing the same and then the new lobby theme and then more in season I do think that the new theme is going to be like desert themed. I think that'd be really cool though. Um, this season will be, you know, one for like a snowy, icy theme. Oh man, I do think it looks really cool like this. But anyways, for multiplayer, we're getting a new 66 maps being Collateral Strike and Hijack. Excited for that. New combined arms map uh, being Collateral 12v12. New gunfight and face off map being Amsterdam being 2v2 and 3v3. New multiplayer new multiplayer modes being one in the chamber multi-team sat link and hardcore hardpoint oh that's gonna be interesting hardcore hardpoint new feature playlist being hijacked 24 7 let's go baby and cranked hardpoint so if you guys know people are they're in love with die hardpoint um and it looks like they're gonna be keeping it they're just not gonna be calling it die hardpoint they're gonna be calling it cranked hardpoint so that's gonna be a really cool man i know a lot of people are gonna be happy about that we have the new score trick being the hand cannon 20 new multiplayer uh, season challenges, so just like every other season, and more in season, including the new rush map, 6 for 6, and capture the flag. And then for league players, uh, there's going to be skill division adjustments, LC10 and AK47 are going to be restricted, and more in season, including league player rewards. For zombies, the new zoo outbreak region, the new outbreak main quest, Operation Excision, the new Dark Ether Story Intel, the uh, additional zombie tracks to unlock to the music player, the new operator missions in zombies, new onslaught map being collateral, uh, and that's for PlayStation by the way, 20 new zombie season challenges and more in, se more in season including the upcoming Mauer de Toe in a round base map. That's going to be really cool to see, uh, and then let's just see here. All right, so a new season of content is here. So obviously Jackal is going to be the new operator at tier zero. It's going to be really cool to see. Uh, I do think he looks really cool. The new weapons now for the prestige stuff. So included, uh, what you'll be able to get um, is just from you know all the old Black Ops titles, including the animated bacon calling card from Black Ops 2, available after se uh, reaching season level 100. Watch for even more new legacy items to hit the prestige shop later in the season. 
To help everyone level up even faster, the team has reduced the amount of XP needed to progress through season levels in Black Ops Cold War, Warzone, and Modern Warfare. We've got the two new sets of season challenges, multiplayer and zombies coming to season four, each with its own exclusive calling card and XP rewards. We're also helping out all those uh, challenge hunters uh, out there with the new challenge tracker feature available at the options menu. You can track your daily challenge progress mid-match. Thank God, bro. Uh, and obviously the new ground for limited time mode. We can't really talk too much about that because yeah, again, they're not really going to uh, into detail with that. Now I'm just scrolling through a lot of this stuff because a lot of this we already went over yesterday. But anyways, for the so for league play, uh, the season and league play, we're updating multiplayer. Uh, we're updating the skill division requirements to help maintain our target. Hold on. Uh, population distri st distribution percentages up for each division. Some player may see their or some players may see their skill division replacement shift after the next place in match. Be sure to jump into league play with this weekend uh, to see where you land once the new requirements are placed. I've never played league play, so I have no idea what the, any of this is about. Um, we're also putting some additional weapon restrictions in place by popular demand. Uh, starting with season four, the LC10 and AK47 rifle will not be restricted in league play. Update your loadouts accordingly. And then after the launch, we'll also be delivering brand new league player rewards for competing uh, fans to unlock with placement rewards and skill division rewards. Players can win 10 games in the advanced uh, expert elite and master division to earn charm, emblem, and sticker rewards to show off their skills. And, and uh, in addition, each ladder event placement type will award a charm, emblem, and sticker when uh, earned for the following. So that's finish top five, finish top ten, finish top five. Um, wait, finish top 25, finish top 10, finish top five victory. Finishing first, hot streak, getting two consecutive first place finishes, uh, blazing three consecutive first finishes, and diamond for six total first place finishes. And then for zombies, uh, they're going to be updating Dead Ops Arcade 3. Obviously, later in the mid season update, we'll get the Mauer to tow in. And then for the initial launch, we're going to get in part two of the uh, Outbreak Easter Strike, which is going to be called Operation Excision. Our second main quest in Outbreak will kick off worldwide at 10 a.m. Pacific Time to 1 p.m. Eastern Time on June 17th and provide the narrative prologue to Mauer to Toten. Now the players have braved the dangers lurking beneath the Ural Mountains, taken on the terrifying Legion and foiled Omega's plans for Operatia, or Operatia and Versia. It's time to take things up a notch. The hunt begins this Thursday. Obviously, we're going to have the new zoo uh, region, and then the, um, never mind, that's that important. <laughs> uh, I was just about to just talk about, uh, anyways, Mauro in our next map launches mid-season. So, the wait is almost over. Our next round-based map is coming to Black Ops, Cold War, and Zombies uh, mid-season with Mauro Toten. Packed with new enemies, a new quest, a new secret to discover, a new upgradable perk, which is going to be double tap, a new wonder weapon, new crafty item, and much more. So there's going to be new, I guess, like mini or new bosses, a new elites, new uh, new specials, and a new perk, which again is going to be double tap. At least that's what the rumor is. A new wonder weapon. Uh, that's going to be crazy, man. And like Max for him, Grigory Weaver will be making his debut as a playable operator later in the season based on his OG incarnation in the first Black Ops campaign. As we mentioned in our recent What's Next in Black Ops Cold War Zombies blog, the team has been hard at work on this next map since before the launch of Firebase Z. And we're pulling out all the stops on one tune or on, on one. Tune into our official Treyarch Studio broadcast tomorrow for a glimpse at what's to come mid-season, along with a special guest appearance by Julian Nathanson, aka the one and only Samantha Maxis. Okay, this is what I was excited for. Assault Rifle Weapon Tuning. The current state of the meta is in a great place after our most recent weapon tuning pass, and we've been carefully watching the data to ensure no particular weapon overtakes the rest of its class, which that is true. There's nothing that I would consider broken right now, uh, which is great, honestly. The, 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 in Season 4, we're only making some minor adjustments to few assault rifle muzzle attachments. Alright, so, um, it's just going to be nerfing AR muzzles. In most cases, these changes improve the damage range of suppressor attachments. For assault, rifles, you, for assault rifle users, you prefer a stealthier approach. See below for the full listing of tuning. Um, then obviously, uh, battle pass gifting and store bundle gifting is going to be a thing here in Season 4. And if you guys gift anybody from June 17th to June 30th, you'll actually be rewarded with an uh, hour-long double XP token. Again, you got to have 2FH if you want to gift. The person receiving doesn't have to have it on, but the guy gifting does have to have it on. Um, so it says patch notes. Read on below for everything to expect in Black Ops 
uh, Cold War when season four launched at 9 p.m. Pacific time, June 16th. So, like I said, you can install the update today at uh, 9 p.m. Pacific time, but tomorrow uh, at 9 p.m. Pacific time, you guys uh, will actually be able to play in the new season. I'm um, so for. Did we not just go over this? <laughs> um, anyways, Groundfall limited time mode, in which we'll be able to unlock some stuff in Cold War and Warzone, being emblems, calling cards, weapon charm, bonus XP, uh, and a secondary weapon blueprint. The new battle pass, obviously the new operator, Jackal, the new weapons. Uh, so here's a bit more in depth with the nail gun. The nail gun special weapon available via in game challenge and multiplayer zombies, or via a unique blueprint version in the store. And obviously the PPS station, the Swiss K3 will have their own set challenges if you didn't uh, get them this season, and which will be able to complete either multiplayer or zombies. For the weapon tuning, we got the XM4. They're going to be reducing a range penalty on suppressor muzzle that is from 50% to 11%. Okay. Reduce range penalty on the AC suppressor muzzle from 33% to 22%. So it looks like we've got some updated class setups coming. Uh, using some suppressors, man, because I just made an Action 4 video the other day using a suppressor, and I found some great success with this, so who knows? Uh, and then from the AK-47, again, a reduced range penalty on the suppressor from 15 to 13%, and then the Greer suppressor from 25%. Uh, they actually increased it from 25% to 27%. The QBZ, they increased the range penalty on the suppressor uh, from 15% to 17%. On the FFAR, they reduced the range uh, penalty on the suppressor from 15 to 10%, and they also reduced the AG suppressor range penalty from 33% to 20%. They reduced the range penalty on the AG suppressor muzzle for, uh, on the Krig from 30 to 25%. The Groza got a uh, increase in range penalty on the suppressor from 15 to 17%. The Fire 83 got the suppressor uh, reduced, or sorry, the Groove suppressor uh, range penalty reduced from 33 to 32. They, 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 they took it down in one notch. And then they increased the range penalty on the suppressor from 15 to 20 percent. And we got the new features. So players can now gift the battle pass, battle pass bundles, and store bundles to friends in Black Ops Cold War. Get a 60 minute double XP. Uh, Wait, what? Get a 60 minute double battle pass XP. Okay, so it's battle pass XP. Token for sending your first gift between June 17th and June 30th. Two fact authentication is required to use the gifting system and free bundles, franchise store bundles, and limited time bundles cannot be gifted. So let's see, like Rambo and Die Hard, th those will not be able to get gifted. CDL bundles will not be able to get gifted, and obviously free bundles. Why would you want to get the free bundle? I mean, come on. Uh, the challenge tracker, which, uh, so it's just progress toward active daily challenges can now be. Wait, progress. What am I talking about? Progress toward active daily challenges cannot be viewed in game via the options menu. And then progression. So they reduce the amount of XP needed to progress through season levels in Black Ops Cold or Wars on a Modern Warfare. So it looks like leveling up will probably be easier now, which is amazing. Also, we've got the four new prestige levels. Uh, the prestige shop, which obviously, like I said, the new bacon calling card from Black Ops 2. We have some new music. The main lobby is obviously updated for the new season. Uh, a lot of this is for some reason just repeated from what we were talking about earlier um, hold on I'm, I'm trying all right I'm trying to find something new uh, it doesn't look so actually we're gonna need modes uh, hijack 24 7 which will also be available in hardcore the multi-team sat link the cranked hard point and then obviously a multi-team elimination, gunfight blueprints, new Xbox 147, 12v12 mosh pit, uh, which will also, whoa, it'll include, it'll have, there will be a 12v12 cranked hardpoint. Uh, obviously new cranked hardpoint mode, face off 6v6, uh, party games, uh, multi-team sat link, and then like I said, hijack 24-7, league play again, dude, a lot of this is just repeats, what? This is kind of annoying. Okay, so uh, for the quest for the main quest, so they actually did tune the main quest for Outbreak. If you guys didn't do part one, they, they actually tuned down part part one, which is interesting. So new tuning changes to the ex the existing Outbreak main quest in Ruka. So they disabled super sprinters in the silo. So that's like that bottom um, bunker area. Finally, uh, they slightly reduced Legion's chest armor health. They increased the respawn delays on all zombies. Thank you. Uh, and then they add an audio cue when starting and failing certain steps indicate when zombies will start attacking. 
And they added more Treyarch Zombies tracks to unlock the music players via the Unknown Signal World events and Outbreak. Well, then they're just addressing some stuff. We got Dead Ops Arcade 3. Um, yeah, I don't think anybody plays that. Well, uh, wait. No, yeah, okay. Um, it looks like that's it. I want to, yeah, that is it. Uh, I don't know why there was just a whole bunch of repeats toward them. That's kind of annoying because I, you know, I thought I was giving you guys a whole bunch of new information. So, obviously, I already went over uh, that. Uh, obviously, we got the Battle Pass trailer as well. Um, if I didn't already talk about that. And, obviously, Battle Pass gifting is now a thing. Now, here's the thing. They go over the Battle Pass. Obviously, I'm not going to go too full depth into this. And I'm not going to read everything. I'm just going to tell you guys what tier all this stuff is unlocked. So, obviously, at 2-0, you get the new Jackal Operator skin. Uh, along with the Port Nova skin. Or a new Port Nova skin. Then the Emerald Trooper Watch. And a seasonal 10% XP bonus. At tier 50, you'll get the Boarding Party Adler skin. Tier 19, the Twisted, Re uh, the Twisted Reverse Finishing Move. Uh, and then, obviously, upon doing like these Operator missions that you know Operators have, um, you can actually get XP. So, if you guys know what I mean by that, um, let's just do... I mean, like, it is actually right there. Operator missions, kill Titan enemies who are near and active. Decoy Grenade, and as you guys see, it will reward you with not only, it looks like a calling card, but XP. And, obviously, upon, like, if I complete some of those... I can get some skins, so like the tree hugger, uh, and then an emblem, and then the militia. So, yeah, if you're interested, there you go. Um, right, let's see, and then obviously the new weapons. So obviously you'll be able to get the uh, the new MG82 LMG at tier 15, or yeah, 15, the C58 assault rifle at tier 30, um, and then obviously some new weapon blueprints. So at tier 5, you'll get the monochrome AK47 blueprint at tier. Uh, 55 you got a free blueprint it's gonna be the ancient scarab smg which looks like a ksp the ancient spear sniper rifle blueprint at tier 85 which looks like the bear 50 cal at tier 95 we'll actually be able to gain ultra rarity reactive weapon blueprint for the new lmg speaking of reactive stuff though you're getting the first ever ultra rarity reactive operator skin here at tier 100 which is going to be amazing i'm really excited to see this i'm hoping that they don't Okay, hear me out. I, I think that's going to be really cool, but I'm hoping they don't sell reactive skins because they're probably going to be more than, you know, 2,400 copies like they are right now. Uh, obviously, we've got the Forgotten Oasis Saw Rifle with, uh, obviously, that new uh, reactive tier 100 skin. i got the Forgotten Oasis Legendary AR, which looks like to be the new AR. Uh, I do think so. A dirt bike vehicle skin, a Season 4 emblem along with that. You'll also be able to get some free war tracks. Uh, so, a Black Ops 4 mixtape at tier 72. And a 80s hits to uh, tier 94. Obviously, upon getting all that, you'll get the 1300 cop points. And then we got some new bundles here. So, uh, at launch, we'll get the framework bundle, which is going to be the first legendary blueprint for the nail gun, which will include the puncture wound uh, nail gun blueprint, uh, the switcheroo finishing move, the horrible timing watch, the unique celebratory smoke gesture, and two tiers for you to get a head start in completing this season's battle pass. Uh, in addition to the framework bundle, you'll get the circuit board reactive, which I, might come out at launch, kind of similar to this season. Because at launch of this season, we got the new, obviously, blueprint uh, for the ballistic knife and uh, the new LC10 reactive bundle. So I'm assuming this one might come out with that as well. It looks to me like a Groza, uh, the circuit board reactive. It is a four. Wait. This bundle will include a new ultra rarity. What was I talking about? Dude? The ultra rarity re uh, reactive weapon blueprint, as well as the epic resistor sniper rifle blueprint, an animated calling card, an animated emblem, and more. Based on the bullpup saw rifle introduced in Black Ops Cold War Season One, the motherboard blueprint is a phenomenal platform on which to build your beast of a rig, uh, or beast rig of a loadout. Uh, fast in the field and reloading, this five attachment reactive weapon blueprint will come to life, and thanks to the latest holographic projection technology, as you successfully down your enemies with brute force. Now we got another anime bundle with the Tracer Pack Blossom anime. This one looks really cool. Following these two bundles will be the Tracer Pack Anime Blossom bundle, featuring a roller derby and ornamental cherry tree inspired skin for Park, and two blueprints that fire pink blossom tracer fire. Don't let these new items appearances fool you. These weapon blueprints are just as deadly as the most serious of mill spec armaments. Wait, no, all around mints. Okay, yeah, just make sure. And after launch, later down the line, so obviously the bundles I just told you guys um, are going to be in the first two weeks. 
but online we'll be able to we'll be able to get our hands on the trace pack salah operator bundle so this bundle is packed with tons of legendary content including salah and his late yes i'm not gonna try to pronounce i don't want to butcher that i'm just gonna go with liacian operator skin weapon blueprints for an assault rifle and tactical rifle both of which fire green tracers the double guns gesture and more of course Salah's pet called moto dragon uh is also joining the fight ready to go uh right for the jugular's part this bundle's finishing move so he's getting a freaking komodo dragon as a pet um i still have yet to buy the snow tiger or the snow leopard i want to have all the pets in the game obviously i have the snowbird i have the plague hound uh, i don't have the freaking rottweiler and i don't have the snow leopard and i'm obviously need to get this komodo dragon man we have the Gilded Age 5 Reactive, so finally a Gilded Age bundle that might actually be worth buying. Obviously, last time we got Gilded Age bundle, I think it was the Pro Pack, which I'd say it was worth it. $20 for a skin, two blueprints, and $20, you know, $20 worth of card points along with all that. But we're getting a Gilded Age Reactive bundle. Uh, it is going to be launching later in the season, like I said. <clears throat> like I said sorry. It's going to be featuring the Golden Reactive uh, weapon blueprint the rough nugget a three round burst SMG so it is the KSP and if your aim is golden expect this weapon to glisten with silver fuchsia and gold effects sorry about that guys I thought somebody was trying to come to my room but anyways like I said um, you're gonna get the new reactive KSP which uh, like it says will glisten with silver fuchsia and gold upon obviously getting I think nine kills it said it always says 12 but I swear nothing happens at 12 it all happens at three six nine um and, and that's not it obviously you also get the prospector assault rifle weapon blueprint the snake skin operator skin four part and I'm assuming you know probably like weapon charm calling card emblem I, I at least I hope uh, and then last but certainly not least the tracer pack big brain mastercraft bundle uh, inspired by classic 80s science movies and supercharged with electricity this collection includes the neurotransmitter smg mascraft and the heavy hitting neurologist assault rifle blueprint along with plenty of epic customization items built on the smg introduced in season two so it is the lc10 i was gonna say it kind of looks like the lc10 and yeah that's just further confirming it uh, the neurotransmitter mascraft comes equipped to help you zip by your enemies and zap them into oblivion with a speed based attachment speed uh sorry um spread this looks really cool i see a shark on the gun that's all i got is like that's gonna be really cool to see you know what happens since it's a mascraft um i'm excited for this man it's gonna be really cool i can already tell uh yeah and then also included uh so this is the final bundle here at least that they're telling us the tracer pack road monger mastercraft bundle for those who are going to play a high octane LMG into the loadout, the Road Mongrel turns the unlockable light machine gun uh, into a rip roaring motorcycle themed mastercraft. Complete with gold traced fire and five attachments that include the weapon's largest fast magazine, a field agent grip, also, include, uh, also included are the Epic Street Legal SMG Blueprint, the Epic Roadmap Functional Mini Map Watch, the Octane Vehicle Skin, an animated uh, Epic Calling Card and Emblem, and more. So that's it, man. That's. That's all we got. Obviously, I'm sorry I sped through this, man. It's just there's so much to talk about. I don't want to bore you guys uh, with this freaking, like, nearly 30-minute video. So, that is all I got for you. Obviously, um, that's obviously not all the bundles. We're obviously going to get some new leaked ones, I think, tomorrow night, right? Either tomorrow or today. T either today at 9 p.m. or tomorrow at 9 p.m. I don't know. Um, so, anyways, whatever the time is, I'll make sure to, you know, make a video going over all the new leaked bundles, man. You guys already know me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in a minute. Hey, I'm out. Peace.